Hello everyone. I bring to you one of the finest students at Kedge Business School for supply chain program. He is coming from India. He is right now in his second semester and let's talk to him without any ado. All right. Hi, uh, Julian. So this is Julian. Julian, I have a few questions for you. Yeah. This is for our audience on LinkedIn and probably on other social media websites. Uh, this is basically viewed by Indian students who are not very sure of uh, specializations that they should actually pursue, if they should be going for a general management program or a specialization. Uh, so why don't you actually tell us something about yourself? So starting with... Uh, what are you doing here right now and where are you, if you could explain probably in two lines. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm from India, yeah. Chennai yeah. and right now I'm pursuing my uh, master's in uh, global supply chain management. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now the program is really good, you know, it's one of the finest programs in uh, France as well as all over the world. So it's, it's a well-reputed program in a well-reputed school. So I'm rightly, right now enjoying it, every moment of it and uh, the professors are really good. Uh, we've got some good company visits coming to recruit students which has been good and talking about the city it's amazing I mean you got a lot of you know it's, it's mostly French but you get to learn a lot about the French culture and you know you get to learn a lot of French cuisine is really nice and you know the parties these French guys party like hell so it's, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean the first semester has gone fully you know partying and stuff but right. second semester guys are a little serious you know thinking about jobs internship right. but uh, Kedge is also helping us out and you know overall the experience has been really good okay so I have a couple of questions yeah. more uh, before coming to Kedge what were you doing in India uh, and was, what did you study uh, yeah so I studied my engineering mechanical engineering in Chennai and then I got an offer in an information technology company where I worked for a couple of years in Pune okay at Mahindra okay so after that I, I decided like you know I wanted to further my career prospects and I wanted to you know take a diversion because this was always in my plan you know I wanted to do supply chain so I decided to you know do a bit of research and yes with your help uh, I just uh, Oh, and then not not uh, not an individual help uh, we are going to talk about. But my point is, uh, so how does an Indian student who who does his engineering and right now, let's say, working in a technology company, you mentioned Tech Mahindra, you were a techie. How do you actually decide to move for supply chain and logistics specialization? Because most of the Indian students, when they graduate, they either think of a full-time job, which you actually did, which I did as well. But once they think of management, they think about general management, right? So how does specialization hit you and why supply chain logistics basically? Uh, it's like you need to have a you know, goal in mind, you know, yeah. some, you, you want to, you know, stand out because most people, they do an MBA and an MBA is like, if you're doing it abroad, especially it's like a one year program, which is general management. So you get to learn all about the different aspects of it, like finance, marketing, supply chain, human resource, everything. So you spend, you know, considerable time in certain things. Right. But when you're actually well focused from the beginning, like for me, I always wanted to pursue my career in logistics and supply chain, which was something very interesting and which all the companies have, like every company from an info IT company to a banking sector or, you know, retail, you know, food and beverage, whatever, every company requires supply chain. Okay. So that was always in me, you know, I wanted to further my prospects in getting a job. Right. And I felt like if I do a MSc, which is actually you get more opportunities than an MBA because MBA basically it's a mix of everything. So you spend, you know, limited time. So I really wanted to, you know, spend my, devote my entire time right from the beginning to supply chain, which is what I'm doing. And obviously it's a one year course. So you get to know, you get to specialize, you get to have more hands-on experience, which is always good. Absolutely. Thank you so much for this explanation. Just uh, one final question or pro probably I would say penultimate question. Uh, what is the level of faculty which teachers here? I mean, where do they come from? What kind of experience do they have? Are they working somewhere? Are they full-time professors? Uh, so Kedge has a very interesting business model, which, you know, I only came to know about after coming here, which is, you know, most of the professors are actually visiting facul faculty. So few professors, yes, they teach in Kedge. They are French. Yes, okay. But a lot of people, they come from the US. You know, one Indian professor actually he came from MIT. Uh, and he gave us an amazing three days of class, which was the best class of my life, you know, honestly. So that was really good. And we've got other professors coming from top universities from uh, US, Canada, and we've got, we had a Greek professor as well. So a lot of multinational uh, uh, countries, you know, professors come from and they give, you know, give you a very exciting class. So it's, it's, it's been really good. And obviously French teachers also are there. So yeah, it's nice. Okay. All right. Uh, that's great. Uh, you mentioned Schlumberger was here to recruit certain students. Uh, could you tell something about uh, the recruitment uh, strategy, probably in a couple of lines? Uh, yes. So Schlumberger, as you know, is one of the finest companies in the world. So you know, Kedge had. I mean, Kedge was fortunate to get their services here, 
and uh, yes they had come yesterday and you know uh, they conducted interviews for a few candidates which they felt you know better suited them mm -hmm. so they pre selected a few candidates and they came here and the entire day right right from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock they were here conducting interviews for the students okay and the results are not yet announced but uh, yes yeah we're hoping a few of the students do get placed in Shlambajo as an intern Okay, all right. Uh, this is very, very cold here right yes. now in Bordeaux, and okay. I am not going to take much of uh, Julian's time. So, just one final recommendation for Indian students. So, for any student who's watching this right now, any three recommendations from you, not just for care or supply chain management, but maybe you know studying in Europe or probably choosing specializations. What would you suggest them? Any three words or three sentences or your three tips? Uh, one thing is uh, passion. If you're always interested in something, just pursue it. You know, you don't have to think about anything else. You know, people might tell you a hundred things. You know, job prospects might be a little hard, but it's always what you want to do. Because in Europe, if the reason why I chose Europe is because it's a it's a one year program and it is the cost of education is relatively uh, cheaper than going to the U.S. or Canada. So that's why I chose here. So I wanted to get like maximum return on investment. Okay. Uh, so I would say, yeah, if you're passionate about it, just do it. A uh, second thing is, you know. Uh, you shouldn't only focus on your career. I mean, obviously, job is important. You know, at the end of the day, that's what makes you. But you need to also, you know, enjoy your life. You know, once you come, you're right. coming in a different place now. Right? France is, you know, absolutely new to me. You know, so I knew a little bit of French, but now you get to know more of the culture. You get to experience a lot more, and it's obviously a life-changing experience, which is good. Right. And uh, yeah. The so final I recommendation, <laughs> maybe food, wine, uh, weather. Yeah. So I mean, obviously. The other recommendation is you've got to be well prepared to acclimatize to this kind of <laughs> <laughs> climate and food because it's, yeah. it's very different. You know, French you know. people are uh, very different. So it was a little hard for me, you know, eventually getting used to the different types of food. And, you know, Indians, especially you guys will miss the spice, the typical spice <laughs> that we have. Uh, the wine is incredibly good here. So there's a lot of, you know, pros as well as, you know, you guys will definitely miss home. But, you know, on the more positive side, you get to have a lot of, you know, life-changing experience, which is good. Perfect. Thank you so much, Julian. Yeah. Do not listen to each and every advice Julian is giving <laughs> because regarding the spices and everything and the pickles and the mangoes and everything, <laughs> trust me, I'm going to help you out with everything. So if you want to know more about where to get spices, Indian food, you wouldn't be like, I mean, of course, uh, when you're traveling abroad, when you're living abroad, when you're studying abroad, it's a challenge, it's a risk. And uh, you're staying away from your family. But uh, isn't it? Uh, worth because studying abroad is not just about a foreign degree it's about you know growing up as a person as a personality so thank you so much Julian yeah, for welcome. your time and thanks all of you for watching we would be coming back with more such interviews and ciao take care stay warm